The War of the Golden Stool, A Clash of Honor and Empires In 1900, the vast plains and dense forests of Ghana became the backdrop to a unique conflict, a war ignited by a sacred symbol, the Golden Stool. This wasn't just a tussle for territory. This was a battle for the soul and heritage of the Ashanti people. Before we delve into the conflict, let's understand the significance of the Golden Stool. More than just an ornate piece of furniture, this stool was the embodiment of the Ashanti nation. Every king swore allegiance to it, and it was believed to hold the soul of the Ashanti people. It wasn't just a throne, it was the tangible representation of an ancient lineage and legacy. The British Mandate, as they extended their colonial reach across Africa, their eyes turned to the rich lands and resources of the Ashanti. But annexing the Ashanti kingdom wasn't just about land, it was about subjugating a proud people and their history. Sir Frederick Hodgson, the British governor at the time, believed he could cement British authority by sitting on the golden stool. Why have you not brought the golden stool for me to sit upon? Your King Prempe I is in exile, and the Queen of Britain must receive it. This wasn't just an insult, it was a declaration of war. The flame of resistance the Ashanti leaders were taken aback, but it was the Queen who stood defiant. In an impassioned speech, she rallied the Ashanti, saying, if the men won't defend our king, then we, the women, will. The Ashanti, under the leadership of their queen, laid a strategic siege on Kumasi, trapping Hodgson and his men. This wasn't a random guerrilla attack, it was a coordinated and fierce resistance. The Ashanti warriors held their ground, but the British Empire wasn't to be underestimated. Major James Wilcox led the British reinforcements, battling not just the Ashanti warriors but also the treacherous terrains of Ghana. With resilience, they inched forward, fighting through dense forests and heavily fortified stockades. The British might have emerged victorious in battle, but the golden stool eluded them. The Ashanti kingdom was annexed, but their spirit remained unbroken. Queen Mother, though eventually captured, became a symbol of fierce resistance and an inspiration for future generations. The War of the Golden Stool was not just about a piece of furniture. It was about honor, heritage, and the undying spirit of a people. Today, as we reflect upon this chapter of history, we're reminded of the lengths to which nations will go to preserve their identity and dignity.